The Dallas City Council voted to require sexually oriented businesses to shut down between the hours of 2 and 6 a.m. Workers in the adult entertainment industry showed up to protest this morning at City Hall to explain their concerns. In the end, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia convinced council members saying reduced hours should cut down on violent crime. Fox 4's Lori Brown joining us now from City Hall with the story. Lori. Heather, the vote today did spark protests here at City Hall from people in the adult entertainment industry. But in the end, Dallas City Council members approved the 2 a.m. closure in a unanimous vote, saying it was about public safety. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia has said 76% of the city's violent crime is occurring between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. And much of it, he says, is linked to the clubs. If we close at 2, I will, my income will be slashed. People who work in Dallas strip clubs came to Dallas City Hall Wednesday morning in hopes of convincing the city to leave their early morning hours alone. I don't know how I'm going to survive. and It's just hurtful because we don't deserve this. Some single mothers said that the overnight hours are how they make ends meet without having to get daycare. This is kind of like where 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 my money and my income comes from. So I got to take care of my, my family. I'm home. I like the hours that I work. It gives me time to go home and wake my kids up, take them to school, go to sleep. And then when my kids come home from school, that's when I wake up, take care of my kids, get them ready um, for their sports activities, homework, dinner, and then after that, I can go to work. It's a message that resonated with Dallas City Councilman Omar Narvaez. I was raised by a single mom. So I understand you ladies' plight. My mom worked three, four, five jobs sometimes. I didn't even realize we were poor. Narvaez argued that the city was rushing the policy change by not studying the issue with a task force first. We do this for every other industry in the city of Dallas. The STRs, scooters, banks, whatever it is. We bring in the industry leaders and we say, work with us folks, and let's come up with common sense strategy, but not this one. But others argued strip clubs opened the door for sex traffickers to victimize women. I was one of those young ladies who was entrapped by the age of 15. The new ordinance also raises the minimum age of workers at adult businesses from 18 to 21. Of the 300 women and girls we served last year, 55% were dancing in local strip clubs. In the end, Dallas City Council members decided to support Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia's request to close strip clubs at 2 in the morning, the same cutoff time that already applies to licensed bars. When we've asked our police chief and we've asked our city manager to go find us the, the best police chief, and he comes back to us with a tool that will help us reduce crime, I feel it is we should listen to him. <clears throat> Mayor Eric Johnson says that he will talk to the city's workforce czar tomorrow to, about what type of job training programs that they can provide to people who may be out of work as a result of the closure. Heather.